we're gonna start lying on our back. So come to lie down with your knees bent, feet on the floor. We'll take our right foot, reach it up to the ceiling, turn your toes out and then hook the right ankle over on top of the left knee. Pull the left knee into the chest and hands can either interlace behind the back of your left thigh or if it's available, you can take your hands interlaced on the front of the left shin. Flex your right foot, push the right knee gently away from the body as you try and pull your left knee a little closer in towards the chest. Take a few solid deep breaths, trying to just open up and think of widening out through the sitting bones so that you're starting to really get deep into the outer seam of that right hip, opening up to release. To come out of it, place your left foot down to the floor, release the hands, right foot up towards the ceiling. Find the foot down and then switch it to the second side. Left foot lifts, turn the toe out, hook the ankle. And then when you're ready, draw that right knee in, an option for the hands interlaced behind or in front of the shin, flex your left foot, push the left knee gently away. If the hips are super tight, you're welcome to take a little bit of a rocking action from right to left, but sometimes staying in stillness and just taking some deep breaths is plenty to start to open up. Let's do one more big cycle of breath in and exhaling out. Release the foot, reach your left heel up, foot to the ground, and then from here, just rock over to your right side Use your hands to push yourself up. And then once you're facing upright, take your legs out in front of you and we're gonna do a simple cross-legged seat. So right shin first in front of the left shin. Try and flex both feet and eventually we want ankles and knees stacked. If the hips are super tight here, you might wanna reach for a blanket or a block if you have one and sit up on a little bit of height. Once you have the seat established, feel like you're pulling out of the pelvis and really lengthening up through the waist and from there starting to walk your hands forward. As you walk forward, the idea of the fold here is not to just collapse through the chest and round down. Instead, consider really trying to find some extension still with the spine, so open the chest, and maybe dropping down to elbows. Maybe your hands can become like a pillow for the forehead to rest down, but some of us just staying more propped up will feel like plenty, and that is perfect. Let's do one more breath on this right side. And exhaling. Rise your way up towards the seat. Lean yourself back on the sitting bones and then just cross opposite shin in front. Again, try and line yourself up. So keeping a flex in the foot will help keep the knees safe. Imagine your thigh bones plugging back and in towards the hip socket. Sit up nice and tall, lengthen through both sides of the waist and then take it into your fold. The hips can be so different between the right and the left sides on the body, so just pay attention to what's going on for you personally here. Is the left side an entirely different story from the right? Not a, a judgment necessarily, but just a way for you to understand what's going on in your physical space. Big breath in, fill up low. Imagine the breath could even make contact down and towards the pelvis. And exhale, maybe see if you can soften and release a little further. Start to walk yourself back up. From here, you're gonna rock over the shins, come through hands and knees. Put the hands at the top of the mat, extend your feet back so you're coming through to a plank position. And then from your plank pose, keep your hips, uh, keep your hands and your feet where they are, pardon me, and lift your hips up and back towards down dog. Lift high onto the balls of both feet. Drop your heels over to the right side, keeping the left hand on the floor, feel a reach through, left palm up to the left waist, and then take it to the second side. Lift up on the balls of the feet, drop your heels over towards the left and press down into the right palm. Come back to center, stay high on the balls of both feet, take your right leg this time, lift it high up towards the ceiling. And then take the right knee, pull it wide, and step the foot outside of the right hand. Coming into a lizard pose, start with the back knee tapping down to the floor. You can stay propped up onto fingertips, this might be plenty, or you can take yourself lower to the ground any amount. That might be dropping your elbows down to a brick, or taking your elbows all the way down to the floor. Back knee can stay down, or if you're feeling frisky, tuck your back toes and lift the back thigh up towards the ceiling. Open the chest and look slightly forward so you have the essence of back bend here still. And then a little bit of a rocking forward and back, forward and back, really getting that right thigh bone deeper into its own socket, trying to open up. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Keep your left foot where it is. Sweep your right foot back to meet the left for a plank pose. And then keep your hands and feet where they are and just pull yourself up and back towards down dog. 
Take your left foot lifted high towards the ceiling. Good, and then from here, pull the knee wide. Step the foot outside of that left hand. Once again, lizard pose, back knee starts tap down. Lower your chest forward, and again, any amount, maybe onto the floor, maybe elbows to your bricks. And then if you took it on the first side, lifting the back knee up, thigh bone pulls higher towards the ceiling. Take that little pulsing action, forward and back, forward and back a few times. And then taking your hands back underneath your shoulders, lift your chest up. Keep your right foot where it is, step your left foot back to meet it and then keep hands and feet where they are. Swing your hips high, downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, come forward to a plank pose and just to give the front of the hips a moment to open up, let your hips start to lower and hover. Upward facing dog, thigh bones stay lifted, chest pulls through, and then swing your way up and back to downward facing dog. Try that twice more. Inhale, you come forward. And then exhale to pull yourself high. Last one here, inhale straight forward. And exhale to swing your seat high downward facing dog. Good, take a walk with your feet up to the top of the mat. And then from here we're gonna separate our feet as wide as the mat. Turn your toes slightly out, your heels slightly in. And then we're gonna take malasana, so a nice deep squat. Knees fold, seat sinks lower, and then hands can come either to um, a prayer at the center of the chest with your elbows pressing inside of the knees. Chrissy's taken a nice variation for added support. She's put a brick underneath her seat. If your heels don't easily make contact with the floor, it's encouraged to put the heels on something so you can take a rolled up blanket underneath the heels and that'll work as well. As you find this stance, think of squatting up and not down. So lengthen out through the spine, try and pull your chest a little taller. Let's take this one as a twist, right shoulder inside of the right knee. Fingers reach on the diagonal and take your left arm, reach up towards the ceiling, turn the chest open. Come back through center. Take it on the second side, left shoulder inside of the knee, fingers reach out, and then take the right arm up. Good, back through center. Place your hands down to the floor, lift your seat high, and then heel toe your feet back in towards one another, and then option to step step, or hop your way back, down or facing dog. From here, take the right foot, sweep it high towards the ceiling. Allow for the knee to bend, let the hip open up to the side and then slide that right shin across the top of the mat for pigeon pose. Right knee comes just about as wide as the right wrist. Let your left leg extend long back behind you. With tight hips, we'll encourage having a little bit of something underneath the base of the seat. That could be a yoga block or a blanket. And then when you're ready, you'll let yourself reach forward, dropping either to your elbows or maybe taking a brick for the chest or the forehead or making your hands into a pillow so the forehead has something to rest down into. Taking a few cycles of breath here. Once again, where can the breath travel to? Can you get it lower, almost like the breath makes contact in towards the hips? And then you'll start to walk your hands back up, lift your chest up, take a moment as a back bend. So try and walk your hands as far back as even the hip line. Good, from here, hands down to the front of the mat, move your props off to the side, tuck your back toes under, and then sweep it back, downward facing dog. Same thing, second side, left foot lifts high. Knee bends, hip opens up. And then slide the left shin across the top of the mat. Right leg draws long, seat anchors. Chest can be lifted for a moment and then when you're set up with your props, drop it forward and take it into your fold. Again, letting the breath start to soak, moving a little bit side to side as you need to. Taking a nice big breath in here, and then as you exhale, think of releasing, maybe softening the jaw, softening the shoulders. And then this time, as you walk your hands back, take a moment coming up into the back bend, so fingers trying to crawl back more in line with the hips, chest starts to lift up. Good, and then you'll take your back leg and swing it around in front of you. Find both feet on the floor. Once the feet are on the ground, lift up through the waist so chest draws closer towards thighs, reach your hands forward, and then at a slow roll down pace, pin the belly back and into the spine and start to slowly release yourself to lie on the back. From here, arms can release alongside the body. Let your legs just extend out long and take a moment resting. Feel uh, the heat that's maybe conjured through the hips, allow that to soak into the ground so it's a little more of a release state that you're starting to give yourself over to. 
And then with some small movements in the fingers and the toes, rock your head side to side. Take your arms for a big reach up and overhead like an early morning stretch and then bending the knees, curling over to the right side. Use your hands to prop yourself up towards the seat. Take a moment sitting upright, maybe cross-legged or on the knees and shins, see what feels comfortable for these new hips. Eyes can be closed, lengthen out through the spine. And when you're ready, gathering your hands to the center of the chest, lift the chest gently up. Your head can bow in. And we seal the practice. Thank you guys. Namaste.